Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're going to make that wobble pad that you saw in the demo. Okay, so there are many ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the simplest way, I think, to get this done. Okay, so we're going to make this out of cylinders. So let's go ahead and insert a cylinder. Okay, now we need this to point um, up and down. So first, I'm going to move it a little closer. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to rotate this, um, this piece. And you can just use the rotate button. Just make sure that your uh, snap to grid is on for rotate. And that it's set to 45 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to use the blue ring to rotate it up. Okay, and there we go. Now, what I want to do is um, change the size on this. And um, because we've rotated it, it's going to, the axes, the axes no longer align. So you can see the green axis here is now side to side, whereas in our view selector, the X axis is side to side. So that's something to be aware of. You can actually switch it to where these axes match the view selector if you hit Control L. And then they will match for moving. But um, as far as changing the size in the properties window, they still don't match. So I actually like keeping them like this when I'm changing the size with Control L. And when I'm moving it, using Control L so that the um, axes match. Okay. So again, I'm going to just keep it off. So my green axis is where the X axis should be here. And that's just because we rotated this thing. Okay, so I'm going to change the size on this. I'm going to change it to, let's say, 111. And I'll, I'll show you why this, why this is helpful. We want it small because when we're attaching points to this, we want that surface to be tiny so we can get it right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy of this. Let me zoom in. and Okay, and I'm going to make a copy of this. And I have collisions on because I want the copy to be on top of it. And then um, you can you can go back to the home menu and duplicate it that way. You can also just right click on this and duplicate. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so now I have two of these, and I'm going to move them away from each other so you can see them a little better. And um, again, what I want to do is I want to be able to see both of these. Yeah, both of these inside faces. So this face right here and this face right here. And I'm going to move this one up just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have two cylinders facing each other, or at least with these faces towards each other. And um, let's go ahead and rename these. So I'm going to call this, um, let me see, this is the top one, <laughs> even though it's the bottom one here. And so I'm going to call this Wobble Top. Okay, and the other one, the one on the bottom, I'm going to call Wobble Bottom, and I'm going to change it using the Properties window. Okay, so now I've, re I've renamed these, and again, the Wobble Top is the part that's not going to move, so I want to anchor that one. But the Wobble Bottom is going to be the platform that is moving, and I want to have that unanchored. Um, and we can change colors. Uh, let's see. I, the, the top one, I'm actually going to make disappear. So that one doesn't matter. But this bottom one, you can definitely change the color and the material. So I'm just going to make it a nice purple. Okay. So we have our two pieces. And um, we've renamed them. Um, we have them small, 1-1. One, one. And now what we want to do is we want to connect this ball and socket joint. Okay. And so I'm in the model menu. And I go over here to the create button. And if I press on the bottom part, ball and socket is the second one down. It says ball and socket. And um, we press it. And now I'm going to, yeah, and there's only, so because we made this so small, see, there's only one place to put that connection. And so that's really nice because it makes sure that everything's aligned. So I'm going to press there. I'm going to go down. And I'm going to, again, there's only one place to put it. And I make the other connection. And we're done. We actually have made a ball and socket joint which will allow this wobble pad to work. And I don't think there's actually any settings that you need to change. Um, if you look here in the explore window, you'll see we have two attachments 
and we have this ball and socket constraint that's already wired up. It's very nice. Uh, Roblox makes this very easy to do. Um, there are options here, um, but again, you don't really, you can play with these, ch uh, change them and see what happens, but this works exactly as it is. Um, what we do want to do, whoops, what we'd want to do next is, let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. Okay, what we want to do next is we want to move these pieces together and we want to make this wider. Oh, and then we're probably going to want to make this transparent. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and move these pieces together. So I'm going to move the top one down so that it's exactly on top of the bottom one. Okay, and now on the bottom one, I want to make this uh, wider. I want to make this a platform. And so here's where it gets a little tricky, right? Because our axes don't match these anymore. But you have to look at the colors. So you see the green here, right? Green is actually Y. Okay, and it's always Y. So if we go into the size, we can change the Y to something big like 10. Okay, now I want to change the other one, so kind of going away from me and, and towards me, and that's the blue arrows, and you know the blue is Z, so I know I want to change the Z to 10. There it goes. And it's okay if you, um, you know, you have to kind of try different, <laughs> try the X, Y, and Z until you get it right. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we've made this a nice size, and um, it's connected. The only thing left is to uh, make this wobble top transparent and the turn can collide off. So I'm going to make transparency one for that wobble top. And I'm going to go down here and turn can collide off so you can't uh, step on it. You'll just pass right through it. And we're actually done. Let me go ahead and save this. So we're going to save this. Actually, wait, I want to do it this way. So again, it doesn't, I don't know if it's going to let us select everything. Let's try. Yeah, it let us select everything except for the ball socket constraint. So I'm just going to do control left click to select that as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and group this. I'm going to group it and I'm going to rename it wobble pad. Okay. And um, before you save it, you should probably test it, make sure we didn't uh, make any mistakes. So go ahead and push play. <clears throat> And let's see if it works. Now, for some strange reason, oh yeah, I just, I'm building on the end of my other demo. For some strange reason, this thing doesn't start working right at the beginning. It takes, yeah, it's, it started now. Oh, whoops. And I think I made it too close. Oh no, no, that's actually fine. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't start moving until like 10 seconds after you start the game. And I haven't figured out why that is. Um, but, it, you know, it's not really an issue because unless you put it really close to your spawn location, nobody's going to approach it for, for in that shorter period of time. And it works. So we have these wobble pads. So let's go back and let's uh, make some copies. So let's hit stop. And I'm actually going to move it away from here because it's too close to the, it's too close to the, there we go. Okay. So um, let me turn and I'm um, going to make some copies of this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna duplicate. So Control D and move it over and duplicate and Control D. And you can actually change the colors on these if you'd like. Um, I can go in here and change the wobble bottom color to whatever I want and go in here and change the wobble bottom color to whatever I want. And you can't change the color on the top, the whole thing. You have to ch go inside and change the parts. So that's gonna be a nice rose. And it looks good. So I've got three of these. Let's test it out. And again, it's over here. And again, see, it's not starting. <laughs> you have to wait a little while for it to start. Not really sure why it does that. There it goes. But once one starts, they all start, huh? I'm not sure if there's a setting that you can, um, I mean, it doesn't make any sense why it takes 10 seconds for these things to start moving. Um, again, not, oh, again, not a big deal. Um, it's not a very long time. It'll probably take uh, your players that long just to get over to that section. Okay, and so we have these wobble pads. Uh, they look great. Um, they work. They're pretty easy, actually, to connect. And you don't have to use this shape. You could use anything. You could use a, a block to do this. 
uh, anything you want. Okay. And at this point, now that you have these working and they're all tested, you could go ahead and save it. Let me delete these. You could go ahead and save this to your um, toolbox. Okay. So you name it, uh, decide if you want to allow copying and then submit. Okay. Um, but that's the end of this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll learn about another constraint. I'll see you then.